Start by teaching your dogs that good things happen in the crate. Check out my video, Crate Training Tips. Keep the crate door closed between training sessions. It may seem counterintuitive, but keeping the door closed between training sessions actually increases the dog's interest in going in. Teach your dog to choose to go in the crate using shaping. Even if you've already used the previous video, start shaping your dog to go in a crate on her own. Start with the door closed. Open it or take it off and click any interest your dog has looking in or moving towards it. After each time you click, place the treat closer and closer to the crate and then in it once your dog has chosen to step in. She pauses to think about what I want. Good job. Success! And it was her idea. I reward her with several treats. I nose target her out so we can try again. Repeat shaping to go in several times. Each time the process will speed up. Having your dog choose to go in builds confidence in the process and trust in you. It's also a fun mental challenge to figure out what you are paying for. Go to the back of the crate. Put the door on, but keep it open during the session. If you notice your dog likes to stay near the front of the crate or hang her feet over the edge, you will need to pay attention to this step. Mark as soon as she goes in the crate, but toss the treat in the middle or further back. Place the treat at the back of the crate after she sits or lays down. Dropping it from the side works better than the front when she's in. Repeat until she's consistently going to the back when she goes in. Close the door. First, review going in. Nicely done. Bring her out. Slowly close the door and mark while it is closing. Good girl. Good girl. After three or four repetitions of that and your dog is comfortable with the door closing, latch the door first, then mark and feed. You can also toss a treat to the back after marking if your dog doesn't go to the back right away. Open the door to toss the treat, then close it and click. This helps your dog learn that a closed door is a good thing. Next, latch the door and click and treat again, feeding at the side. Wait to be released. In another training session, teach your dog to stay in until you give the release cue. As you open the latch, wait until your dog sits or lays down before opening it. Cue a nose target, click and drop a treat, or okay, give another release cue. Add dog distance. As usual, we start with the door closed. Use reward placement to increase the distance your dog has to return to the crate. Continue to mark and treat when in the crate. Change approach angle. 
Use a short distance of about 6 feet or 2 meters and gradually change where you stand. Here she approaches from the other angle. Good job. Add a cue. When your dog can run to the crate, go in from a distance, and allow you to latch the door, you can add the cue. Practice it many times to help your dog learn it. Each time you change something, though, stop using the cue. You can add it back in after you've taught the new part of the behavior. Change crate location. Restart the shaping from beginning in at least three other locations in the house. This helps your dog to generalize the behavior and build more confidence. I moved the crate around the corner. No verbal cue is used until she shows me that she can do the behavior the way I want it again. Very quickly she was able to do the behavior and I re-added the cue.